Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, we'll apply a zoom transition animation to a navigation link using just three lines of code. I'll demonstrate the zoom transition between the source view and the detail view. To do that, I'm going to set up a sample project, a super lightweight one built with Swift UI and Swift data. Let me show you what we will build by the end of this video. If you already have a project to work on, feel free to skip this part and jump straight to the Zoom transition implementation on the navigation link. Let's get started. First, I'm going to create an item model which will hold the name, description and RGB values for the item color. Just a quick reminder, you cannot save color directly with Swift data, but you can save the RGB values and compute the color to use in your views. If you are not familiar with this concept and want to learn more in detail, please check out the videos linked below. These videos will explain how to save a color for an item or multiple colors per item to use in your views. We need to pass a model container to our app. If you want to learn how to configure the model container in more detail, including how to enable the iCloud sync feature, check out the video linked below. Let's create a new item view to collect the item name, description and color from the user, then save it. I'll use SwiftUR's color picker along with the color extension we defined earlier. This view will allow us to save the item with RGB values to our database. If you are not familiar with working in Swift Data and Swift UI and want to learn more, you can follow our playlist linked below for an app tutorial built with them. We need an item detail view to transition to. I 
I'm going to display the item's name and description and set the background color of the view using the item's color. We also need an item grid view to transition from. It basically displays the item's name inside a rounded rectangle colored with the item's color. In the content view, we are going to display our items ordered by their names. For each item, I'll use a navigation link to navigate to the item detail view when user taps on the item grid view, which is used here as the label for the navigation link. The plus button in the top right corner will open the new item view as a sheet on top of the content view, allowing users to add new items. Pass an in-memory model container to the preview to test the current setup. As you can see, our sample app is ready with the traditional navigation link transition, where the view slides in from the right. Now it's time to apply the zoom transition to our sample app. First, we need to let SwiftUI know which views are the source and destination for the transition. To do that, we are going to use a namespace. For those of you who are not familiar with namespace, let me quickly introduce it. Namespace is used to create a shared animation context. It's mostly used with matched geometry effects, which let you animate views smoothly as they change position, size or even view hierarchy. It's like saying, hey SwiftUI, these two views are related, even if they are in different parts of the UI, and made them smoothly between states. Now let's continue with the animation. We are going to zoom into the item detail view. The source ID will be the items ID, placed within the namespace we just defined. We navigate from the item grid view, which serves as our source view, and inserts the source ID to the namespace. Let's try it out. I'll add two items to the view. When I tap on an item, it navigates to the item detail view using the zoom transition, 
It's like the small rounded rectangle expands to fill the screen. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like the video to support us.